In this video, we are placing blocks in this drawing to satisfy the requirements for this second drawing. As an architecture student with two children, a job, this YouTube channel, I struggled to find time for my projects. So I developed a technique to complete one assignment for two classes. Can you believe that I applied this same technique to my AutoCAD projects? Yes, I call this lazy 2 by one <laughs> So this technique started one day when I was finishing my drawing, adding doors to this existing drawing, like so. And then I realized I had hundreds of doors on my floor plan that I needed to draw door headers to my ceiling plan over here, which is simply an XREF of my floor plan. That's crazy. I don't want to do that. So what I did instead was modified my door block by, of course, going to the block editor, right, for my block and add a visibility state by clicking the visibility icon. So once I did that, I could place my visibility on my block like so. And then I could go to the visibility states on my ribbon and simply add a new visibility call, of course, door header like so and click OK. So after this, I needed to draw the header simply using a rectangle from this point over here all the way up to this over here like so then what i did is hide the unnecessary items for instance i could select the door and as well as the frame of the door and go on the ribbon and say hide or make invisible by clicking like so and that way i could only show the door header on this visibility state all right so of course if we change to the visibility state of the door we won't see the header anymore which is great so at this point i could go ahead and close the block editor with the big close command and save the changes so now what happened is that I try to change this to the door header and you could see that there was a problem. Some of these doors had different sizes. For instance, this was a three feet door and as you can see, the header wasn't working correctly. So what I did was then go back to the blog editor and after changing to the door header visibility, I needed to assign the header to some of these actions. So the first one was this stretch action that again wasn't including the new header that I just added. It. So what I did is select the stretch action and I right click and set modify selection set. So once I did that, I could follow in the instructions that says a specify first corner of a stretch would be the same as I previously had it by clicking these two icons and then simply select my new door header like so and of course press enter. So once I did that, I needed to do the same steps for this other action, which was the flip. So again, selecting the flip and then right click and modify selection set making sure the add option is over here on the command line and i could add my header like so and press enter finally for the rotation action i could do the same procedure so after this i could close and save the changes for my block like so and the next time or that I needed to do any ceiling plan, like this one over here, I will simply select all of my doors, copy it with Control Shift C from the 0, 0 origin point, and then I will go to my ceiling plan, paste it with Control V at 0, 0 origin point, and that way I could quickly select all of my doors again and simply 
change to the visibility that I needed.